In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived by the Holy Spirit, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord, be it done unto me according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the word became flesh, and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech thee, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ thy Son was made known by the message of an angel, may, by his passion and cross, be brought to the glory of his resurrection. Through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. As we're continuing on through this Advent season, we come today to the, the Feast of St. John of the Cross. And John of the Cross is one of the great mystics of the Church. He's also a master of the Spanish language. It's, it's really interesting if you look at people who are studying Spanish, and especially people who want to study Spanish literature, one of the requirements is that they study the writings of John of the Cross. Now, it might seem strange that a requirement is to study the, the writings of a Catholic saint, but when you, when you realize what John was writing, his poetry his mysticism. He had this way with, with words, and so the way that he uses the Spanish language by itself is fascinating. But then when you realize what he's trying to convey about the spiritual life, about the way that God works in the human heart, and the way that even when God seems most absent, how God is still active. John of the Cross is famous for the dark night of the soul and that, that feeling of deep separation from God. Well, as we go through the Advent season, we're reminded of the separation that we experience from God and how through the incarnation, through the coming of Christ, God is bridging that gap and he's drawing us back to himself. And so today, let's ask the intercession of St. John of the Cross and of our Blessed Mother to help us to see how God comes toward us and how that darkness, that separation is meant to be relieved, how we're supposed to walk now in the light of Christ and in the company of our Lord who comes to us. God bless you.